as you can see, I already own the game, so now. Hello internet, it's me, Jeku, and on today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can, how we can get the Minecraft for Windows 10, or for your computer. Anyway, let's start the video, so, uh, we need to download, download the actual game on the Microsoft Store, so, let's go to the Microsoft Store and search for the the minecraft and also we uh we need to be uh how do you call it logged in in order to uh, we need to install the trial as you can see i don't really actually own the game so we're going to download and let's Now that it is done, we need to launch the game. Just to show you that I don't really own the game, and also we need to uh, so that it will create the folder uh, in in your system. So let's wait for it to load, and then. need to unlock the game so let's quit for a while quit and this is this method is I think is the safest one other among other among other methods like for example uh, the Minecraft on and off and also the the use of MC launcher oh no MC center yeah, it's MC Center, and for me, it's not that great because it changes a bit in your system in order for it to actually play. Like for example, on the Minecraft on and off, you need to change its. We need to change to the regedit of your system in order for it to be done. In order for you to play the actual game but you need to do it uh, like every time you open the game so it's kind of frustrating so yeah that's the other thing it was okay but as it changes the system like the other one the actual system of your computer so I don't really recommend because I faced a lot of problems using those two methods so this final method uh, that I'm gonna show you is for me is the safest as I've been using it for a while now and I haven't really had any errors or I don't really encountered anything that might destroy my computer so yeah anyway let's start and also this method is also called uh, uh, this method will only we're going to modify the Microsoft Store only the Microsoft Store and nothing more nothing less so you need you need to follow uh, follow the video carefully because if not 
you might really destroy your PC. So anyway, let's go. So after you extracted the file, uh, it is called the V V method. So after you extracted it, there will be three folders, which is the 64-bit or X. A x64 architecture and the 32 bit or the x86 and also the registry files although there are registry files in this one this will only just this won't really actually affect the system as it only turns on the take ownership so yeah but first to, just to make sure we need to create a backup so um, we're just gonna go to the system the windows uh, storage C the drive C and we're going to the windows and on the system 32 and now we're going we're going to search for the Windows Store Windows Application Model Store.dll, which is the extension for the Microsoft Store. So, to do that, we're just going to create a backup so that if it does make things worse, we can return it back to normal. So, let's create a folder. I'm gonna name this backup. I'm gonna open that. Then I'm gonna create another folder and I'm gonna name it system32 because there's one thing that we need to do. So let's go into uh, copy this one. So we need to copy this one. Let's hit copy. So we're just going to paste it on the system32 which is that one so now let's go back and we're going to to create another folder which is the syswow64 if I remember syswow64 yeah I th I think it's this well so same method we're going to go back here I'm gonna go back to Windows and let's search for syswell 64 then we're gonna search for the Windows application but uh, just to make sure we're going to open up that one then we're gonna rename copy we're gonna copy all of it so let's go back this, that is just to make sure so we go back then I'm space then search the same method we're going to go to the backup syswell64 then copy that the dll file and go back then we're going to paste it there so now that the backup is completed as you can see we're going to go back to the folder and we're going to we're going to turn on we're gonna go to the registry files which let me just go back let's go back let's go to the system yeah, I'm gonna go back to the registry folder and I'm gonna turn on this ownership and hit OK then now it's already done we're gonna go to the system 32 and also uh, to, to check we need to check if your PC is 64 bit or 32 bit so let's go to the action center and click all settings Next is we need to go to the system, then scroll down to about, 
then now you can see the actual system type of our search for the Windows application same as before it's just I'm just gonna copy all of it I'm gonna paste just to make it a bit yeah and then, then we need to take ownership and just click accept or yes and then we need to copy this one we need to copy and we're going to paste let's paste it here so click replace the file and now it's done it's right over there now we're, we're going to do the same thing for the syswell 64 so we're gonna go to syswell 64 and search for the that thing Take ownership. Accept. Now let's just copy this one. Go back and hit paste. Click replace. Then we're actually done. So we need to turn off the take ownership. We need to do that so that our system uh, could uh, to stop the encounter of any problems on our system. So now we can open up the Minecraft. So let's wait for it to load. As you can see, I already own the game, so now uh, you can hit the sign in, and also we need to uh, we need to be logged in on your Xbox console in order for you to be to log into the actual game. So there we go. Just gonna show you that I'm already logged in. So now, uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, please leave a like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'm um, I'm gonna end the video. Here.